Hi everyone, I am back and I'm actually back this time. Last time I was on here was a while ago and I know it feels like I've fallen off the face of the earth. Basically this summer I was dealing with a lot of issues in my life and a lot of anxiety and so I was in a big reading slump and that kind of extended to booktube eventually and all of it got wrapped up with the anxiety and it just became something that I needed to step away from for a while and then come back to it later. So I'm back now but this summer I didn't do that much reading because of the anxiety and the reading slump um, until September, which I will get to in a minute, but uh, basically, to catch you up on what happened when I was gone, the last video posted on my channel is a June wrap-up, and that same day I filmed my July TBR, which was massive, and I never even finished editing that video or uploading it, and I also didn't really follow through on many of the TBRs on that list, and I think it added to the anxiety that I was dealing with at the time, so basically it was not good. So I will no longer be doing TBRs probably because I don't like TBRs, then it somehow feels like something I'm obligated to do rather than something I wanted to do, and the whole reason that I'm even doing this channel is because I love reading so much, so no more TBRs. At the same day that I filmed the July TBR that I never edited and uploaded, I also filmed the 10 influential books tag which I will be editing and uploading in the next couple of days so you guys can keep your eyes out for that <laughs> and I'm planning on making videos more regularly now I've dealt with some things that I needed to deal with and I feel like I'm ready to come back and I wanted to say welcome to all the new people on my channel I'm so sorry that I kind of abandoned you but I'm back now and I know that quite a few of you might be here because of a video that David at Lit Journal did, his underrated booktubers video, which I totally did not realize he had done because I was away from booktube, but I just saw it when I came back a few days ago, and he is so sweet. He said some really nice things about me, and I love David's channel. If you did not arrive here from his channel, and you don't know his channel, you have to go to his channel because he's amazing, he's really funny, he just has an awesome personality, kind of a bubbly personality, and when he talks about the books he reads, he analyzes them, and he, he's very intelligent about the way he discusses his books. And he's also funny, and he has a great personality. So definitely, definitely go check out his channel. I will link it down below. His channel is Lit Journal. Go check that out. I know that a lot of the new people may have found me through two of my book haul videos, which have a lot of views somehow. So thank you for coming to my channel. And I will actually be having another book haul soon because in July was my birthday, and I never showed you guys the books that I got for my birthday, so I will have a video with those coming up soon. And also, some of the books I got for my birthday were Barnes & Noble Leatherbound Classics, and someone, I'm so sorry I don't remember your name, I will put it right here, saw one of my other book hauls with the Leatherbound Classics and asked if I would do a video showing my Leatherbound Classics from Barnes & Noble, the insides and stuff as well because since Barnes & Noble's stores, I think, are only in the U.S., people outside the U.S. have to order them online and can't look inside to see what they look like. So I will be doing a video of my Barnes & Noble Other Round Classics editions because I think that might be helpful to some people. I have 15 of those. So also I forgot to mention, in July I read Miss Born the Final Empire, and it was the best book I have read in so long. And I actually did a buddy read of that with three other booktubers and I will be linking their videos down below and we had a great time talking about the first book then I started reading the second book almost right after I read the first one and it was so good and then halfway through the book I don't know what happened I guess I put it down for something because I had to leave the house to go do something and there is no good explanation for this I honestly have been stressing out about it for months but 
Somehow, due to my anxiety, it became a thing where I had to pick that book back up and therefore I didn't. Even though it was really good, really suspenseful part. So, months later, I am still halfway through the second book, even though it's this trilogy, the Mistborn trilogy, is the best fantasy trilogy I've ever, ever read, I'm pretty sure. Like, ever. <laughs> They're so good. But, unfortunately, I'm, for some reason, only halfway through them due to my anxiety, and so I'm just decided that I'm taking a break for a while, get out of my reading slump another way, and then honestly I'll probably end up rereading the first book, rereading the first half of the second book, and then going through the trilogy from there. So sometime in the next month or two I will be finishing those because they're so good and I honestly can't figure out what happened because it's not like it wasn't good, it was amazing, it was so good, and I just have no idea what happened to me. There's no explanation, but I've been kind of weird with the anxiety stuff lately, so it's something to do with that, but I will be finishing that because that was the best, like, so, so good. It's been a, a month or two since I have read it and still I'm, like, freaking out about it, even though I have that anxiety about it. So, whatever, I don't want that anxiety to be attached to that series because it's so good. So, I'll be reading it sometime soon and probably rereading the others. It's amazing. Anyway, back to that detour. So, I wasn't really reading much other than that because I think it had something to do with the fact that I was still halfway through the second Mistborn book and therefore I didn't want to start another book until I finished it, but for some reason with my anxiety, I wasn't reading it for some weird reason and therefore I kind of extended my reading slump a lot through July and August. It was not good. Then September rolled around and wouldn't you know, in three weeks, I read 22 books, so <laughs> I tend to do this in various areas of my life, not just reading, but I'm kind of, unfortunately, seems to be like all or nothing sort of person, so that's not good, I need more balance in my life, but I was in a reading slump for several months, and then reading an average of over a book a day for three weeks, <laughs> so... Yeah, starting from September 3rd until September 24th, I read 22 books. Anyway, I will have my September wrap-up coming soon as well to explain all the books that I read in September, but it was a lot, and so I am kind of out of my reading slump now, uh, except I have a massive book hangover from the last three books that I read, which is a trilogy, which I will be mentioning in my September wrap-up. Reading that also happened in the time of my reading slump, but before the binge reading of September was uh, halfway through H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds, and the best way that I can describe this book is a super action, thriller, apocalypse, end of the world sort of movie narrated by a posh little British person in a twill waistcoat saying, I say, dear fellow, there's an alien from Mars. Oh dear. Like, literally, <laughs> that was an awful accent, but literally, <laughs> that is the best way I can describe the book. It it was kind of funny, and then, then it got, like, really a bit boring in the middle there, because it was just kind of, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it was very interesting, and a little slow, and I still haven't finished it, but, you know, it'll happen sometime soon. So then I already mentioned the craziness of September and now I'm going to talk a little bit about some videos that you can expect to be coming up that will actually be coming up this time. So before I had the whole falling off the edge of the world thing with booktube, I had filmed the 10 influential books so I'll be editing that and uploading it rather soon. I'll also have my September wrap-up coming soon, the Barnes & Noble of the Brown Classics video, which I'll be showing my books, and the Birthday Haul, which are books that I got for my birthday in July, and I was tagged to do the Book Scavenger Hunt by Jay from The Awkward Bookworm, and I didn't see that she had tagged me for a while because I had been away from booktube, but it looks like a really fun video, and thank you Jay for tagging me. That video will be coming very soon as well. And just some other videos that I have thought about, which will hopefully be coming along. I think I better say goodbye for now because this video is not meant to be long, it's just, hi, I still exist, I have 
not forgotten you. I am back now and I am just excited to get back with all of the booktube stuff. So anyway, thank you guys so much and if you are new to my channel and I haven't met you yet, please comment down below to say hi. I would love to meet you and I'm so sorry that it has been a while that I have been away from my channel, but now I'm back and I would love to meet you. Thanks, bye! Thank you.